and welcome back guys we're going to be playing some more Sonatica so today's journey is going to be going to the second island known as the floating island and we're going to go try to get that dome room so that we can really organize our stuff we definitely need to go on the farming run we definitely need to get more copper ore and silver ore and things like that to prepare to build other stuff which I usually do off camera so that you guys don't have to watch me sit there and farm my butt off just for, uh, you know, I think the last farm one was four and a half hours. <laughs> so I'm like, do I show that? Would people be interested in that? I'm like, yeah, they can't be interested in that. It's just the same biomes with the same crap, things trying to eat you. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button. Let's get into this drive. Reminder, if I see anything that looks like uh, stuff I can break to get, like, uh, what do you want to call it, diamond or, you know, the resources I need, stop real quick and get this. Not, looks like we're getting into a creepy part of town. <laughs> Doesn't look deep. Oh, it's deep. Oh, there we are. Or two, it's coming night time. No. Okay, so we're going to set up a buoy for floating island here. Oh. 
Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. We see. I'm going to sneak around this entire area just to see if, uh, you know, there's resources hanging around the bottom of this. So, I will be doing that. Okay, let's get, like, two of you. Let's do some samples. Okay, so nothing happens if I do that. Mostly you can do farming on here as well. So I'm like, uh, ready? I'm going to full already, Jesus. Where'd you go, you little shit? New blueprint acquired. Want to start shit, man? Come here. Ooh. New blueprint acquired. It'd be nice if I can get inside of it. <gasps> Integrating new PDA data. PDA data. Hmm. I think I figure out how to get in there. New blueprint acquired.
blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. I think I'm at the back to get these plants. Meaning I have to make a buff huh? garden and below garden. I'm pretty sure I need that stuff. Alright, let's go find the sub. Fucking creek bee and crawlies are trying to eat me. All the install, uh, storage thing module that I found from the Aurora into the CMOS. Spot to get nice and lost. There's something way up there. Of course, there is. The question of getting all the way back down. I don't think you can research it, but I'm going to go try. Up above the world so high. I'm like a diamond. <gasps> Just looking back, I'm like, where's my damn sea moss at? Well, it was worth coming up here. 
Integrating new PDA data. Now we need to go over there, see if that's worth getting. I was hoping for like more stuff to grab, but I'm just not seeing it. Oh man. It's a sketchy road. Is it home? No. Huh? Uh, my thoughts on VR, I'm just done with VR at this point. Uh it had to do with a certain someone that took it way too damn far and too deep regarding what the virtual platform's about. You know, they started bringing basically legal problems into the issue. Doing things they probably shouldn't be doing, you know. And, yeah, I don't know we have that answer of why no one wants to be on that platform. <laughs> that would not be us going on. My thoughts on it? Eh, I'm happier. Integrating new PDA data. Can't really search anything on this track. But we did get PDA and we did get a potato plant, so it's not too bad. Still terrible, it's just not too bad. So, the next things I would like to research are going to be the prawn suit, so I can mine stuff to get more stuff faster. Oh, that's the first thing. The prawn suit and the cyclops. Cyclops is going to be very important for doing a long, you know, survival trips so you know doing main questing storyline stuff it's gonna be very important for setting up extra bases and stuff all right so let's go see if we can find anything of use over this way Looks like a squid. Man, I really wish I had the problem, so look at that thing of quartz up there. I hope Passing I'm not in the territory. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I think I am. Reaper territory means there's a very big fish that don't like people. Very 
bad. I run into a one. Hey, fishes, get out of my way. Look for silver while I'm here. Hopper, it would seem. Man, if I had the Cyclops right now, that'd be gold. So much titanium around here. Quartz, because we want to upgrade our stuff to glass at some point. Hey, look. Even though I have the scanner room, it's not bad for Esther Titanium. Oh. Okay, where's my sea glass? Great. There. Love how the uh, sea creatures are like, hey, I want to start shit, and then pull the knife and just runs and I'm just looking at them like, really? Yeah, it's gonna be sucky with the YouTube's new uh, policy. That means any like zombie game or like you know follow game or Doom Slayer game is gonna get demonetized. People still play it, just be pissed about it. Uh, my take on it, I think YouTube is running out of money, and that's why they threw that policy and why they snuck it in like they did. They don't make a lot of money. I'm just trying to think of stuff to talk about while I do a little farming on the way back. Now, YouTube doesn't make a lot of money. You would think they would. I know my inventory's full. Understood. Google uses YouTube as a way to do mass advertising, from what I understand, from what I've been told so far, from what I've investigated as well. And it sounds like not a lot of people are biting on the advertisements that they put on people's videos, basically. So it might have a key factor of, hmm, let's go ahead and try to de-weed the platform of people that actually make good content. People that don't, I can see that happening. Welcome aboard, Do I support Captain. it? Oh, hell no. I think it's a terrible idea. I think that's a great way to get people to go search for new platforms. This is a bad thing. 
Man, I wish we had more silver. We're going to need more. We know that. All the places that I usually get silver for are all dried up, so it's kind of a problem. Get our damn multi-purpose room made. There's the battery charger. I need to get the battery charger for these ones next. Hey, look, it's one of those. Put that in there. I was getting tired of making batteries. <laughs> Uploaded to PDA. Go for the multi purpose room. Where to put it? Put it there. I think I'm going to want to put it like right here, facing out. I don't think I need to actually grow the plants, but I'll grow them anyways, just to be on the safe side. Do I have the ladder unlocked yet? It may be yeah. prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize oh. productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. The new room we have unlocked. I'd rather have a new room than circle one. Like, hey, I'll come play Snug. They have a new room. Classic Ingex. Alright. Oh, it's just a small crack. It's fine. When it actually starts flooding more, I'll pay attention to it. It's just a little moist in here. Makes me wonder if I want to put it there. Eh, we'll try it. I'm sure I can put windows on the outside of it, right? How many steel ingots do I need? Oh, come on. It's, it's just a little moist in here. It's fine.
Wow, it really doesn't like the multi-purpose room, so I'm going to get rid of the multi-purpose or that room. I'm guessing I need to have something else for this. Alright. Okay, we're back to doing this. For the moment. Any more titanium. Slightly annoying if I find that out. Brief. Stop it. I guess they really don't like people building big bases. It's not like a, it wasn't a problem in the old days. Hull okay, integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Oxygen. Well, we know we need a farm now. <laughs> Freaking rude awakening, man. I need titanium now.
this one will have to go for that big room. It's gonna suck. Alright. I'll make that fast. And we gotta go farming. Like we don't have a choice. We need to get all stocked up in case we need to. Need to be prepared. This way we can just make stuff instead of going out farm for a god awful amount of time. Regarding VR chat, I'll still get on to help host events and stuff like that. Maybe we'll do recruiting, but other than that, I'm pretty much done with VR chat. Uh, I'm just tired of the toxic day and tired of getting treated like crap by certain people that believe in stupid people's information. The biggest problem with the VR chat platform is people act on word of mouth and they don't take in the common sense that that person might be just talking shit to get you to do something. Put it this way, it's not like the old 2017 days where people weren't assholes. There's a lot of assholes on the platform though. Sunbeam? You know Aurora. We're from a little transgum on the far side of the drama. Welcome aboard, and we're the same there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We can touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. I do a lot of this. <laughs> just, 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 just wait around, get down, scanning stuff. And, yeah. Sonica is about exploring, adventuring. Kind of like what Fallout's Fallout series is supposed to be. But, uh, they really screwed it up with Fallout 76. So my point of view. gonna go into a terrible place. First I'm gonna go see if any of this is responded. So that I can get more tight Oh yeah. 
more silver, which we're running low on. Which means if this does not respond, supposedly if you exit the game and come back in, it's supposed to generate. But I'm noticing it's not generating a lot, which is a problem. I probably should move my base right down here so that I'm close to all the spawns. I don't want to mess up the spawns. That's why I haven't done it yet. We are close to all the uh, quartz spawn. The quartz seems to be spawning back normally. I'm just not seeing a lot of silver spawning back. Still not what I want, but better than nothing. Now, oh, damn little redfish is like, hey man, what's up? Like, <laughs> Stop that shit. Fuck off, little redfish, Jesus. Uh, it's those little red fish that we discovered inside the Aurora. Now they're out here in the environment attacking us. It's like, Wee! I'm also looking to see if there's any decent base locations that we can put a base around here. While I'm out here. There's the Devil's Butthole. That leads down into like underwater caves. I know there's a big cave somewhere around here where you can fit a Cyclops into, which would be awesome when we go deep into the water. Ow. I have to find it though. Anyways. Keep found swimming. Keep found swimming. Fun swim, 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 swim. Looking for stuff. Not finding what I'm looking for. I can go down there and scan stuff.
have to look around a little bit more for like hiking or for silver before doing that. I am gonna have to go on a quartz run again. I mean, I'm gonna have to come over here just to get quartz to come. Try new spot. to recharge the battery or put a new battery in this soon. behind the Aurora's engine because I know there's stuff back there it's just getting over there and not be sidetracked is uh I'm like, hmm, do I want to move my base over here? The only downside is there's not a lot of titanium. Meaning, in order to move my base over here, I would have to probably put, like, in here. Ow! Like a little red Welcome aboard, evil. Captain. Maybe kind of cool to have base hanging off the cliff. Other areas getting kind of cramped, so that's why I'm like, ah, I could put it over here. I know I just did some upgrades to it, and you're kind of like, wow, if you're thinking about moving a base, why did you do those upgrades then? Yeah. Well, I think if I put it far enough away from that crash zone, Put a 
buoy here. We can think about it. If I do do it, I have a buoy there in case. It would make easy, make it easier getting titanium faster, getting silver nearby faster. It really would. I think what I'll do is I'll get rid of my multi-purpose room and I'll bring it over there. Where's my tool at? This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA.
I'm just thinking it's going to make it easier because I can go to these multiple wreck sites and just collect the uh, scraps that spawn, which means infinite idium. The only thing I'm worried about is how deep it is, meaning it's going to have more ocean pressure. Meaning I'm going to need a lot more braces. Only real thing I'm worried about. You know, I'm not here selling milk. seconds. Here, I'll have access to all this good stuff.
been so far. Alright, we'll go down to 30 minutes. As far as I can tell, every time you spawn into the world, these pieces of debris are everywhere. Dang. You could either like them, or you can research the little scraps around. You're not missing much, you're just missing me going in and farming resources, making sure we have all, everything we need to build whatever we already learn. The thing is, I'm going to have to build upwards so that I can 
get power. I know it gets power now, but it's not getting a lot. I'd rather have a lot more. It's also close to a location where we need to go and find the prime super points as well. I believe the Cyclops parts are behind the crash ship. Could be completely wrong about that though. Uh, prime suit, I believe it's in the other direction. They have the second island. Believe me wrong about that. Welcome aboard, Captain. is to go ahead and bring out everything here and I can start sorting it afterwards. It just makes more logical sense to build your base right here. You're by all these natural resources. Welcome aboard, Captain. We'll get a couple more pieces. I think I should bring the fabricator over next.
have a care and diary thing. Going out, I can't even see if it's you know nighttime, noontime, yeah. Welcome aboard, Captain. You see why I want to move over there. Look at that side thing. Alright, let's disassemble the last piece. So I want that. To be on the next base. Right. See if I have anything over in that piece there. If not, I can get rid of it. Okay, I have nothing.
This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. I'll do the whole transferring of all the stuff over to the new base separate, where it won't be on recording of the video. So I save you guys a bunch of time of, you know, you guys have to watch me go back and forth between old base and new base. Okay, you got it right. I'm guessing it's that damn sand shark thing that keeps smacking the base. T-junction over here that you guys saw me place. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. The plan, once I sort out the whole leaking process, is to use this as a way to store stuff. Uh, if you're curious of what all that's about. Okay, I feel like I'm forgetting something here. I bought the berry thing. Captain. 
Alrighty guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh. <coughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button, and I'll see you again.